What you say, ladies and gents, it is your boy, Bacat Sam. And yes, we are back again today for another video. Today's video, we're going to be discussing how I believe Bournemouth will get promoted this season in the automatics. But before we do, guys, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and comment your thoughts on Bournemouth and who you believe will get promoted. But anyway, let's get right into it. Bournemouth, wow. What a January, what a deadline day. I cannot believe five signings they made on, on the deadline day absolutely mental currently they're sat third in the league i was looking at their form before this it's not the best is it let's be honest it's not the best of form one win in the last three games but the thing is they're third they're only five points sorry six points off the top and they've got a, they're only one point off the automatics and they've got a game in hand on blackburn but i do believe this ambition the club have shown yes a lot of people might say it's naivety throwing the kitchen sink at it but I think it was very, very astute, well thought out business. A lot of loan deals, not much money spent on players you know will get you out of this out of this rut and get out of this league. Because honestly, some class signings. I really like how how ambitious the club are and how they believe Scott Parker will take them to the Premier League. I really do. I really respect it because right now the league is still so open there are so many it's not normal that there are this many clubs in such a massive bunch and that the only way Bournemouth know they can pull away from this is investing and that's what they've done so let's go straight in and discuss Todd Cantwell Todd Cantwell on loan from Norwich this is the one that shocked me the most I was honestly blown away when this when they were linked I thought absolutely no chance Todd Cantwell a Premier League player who can play on the wing or in the number 10. A player that at one point was being discussed to get in the England squad. What a player he is. And yes, he hasn't been in great form. And I think he fell out with Daniel Farker. But this is a really ambitious signing. I'm not sure whether there's an obligation to buy or an option to buy. But if there is, wow, what a signing. This guy will only add quality to this squad. Somebody who knows how to do it in the Championship. He absolutely killed it in the Championship for Norwich. He's great on the ball. He creates chances. And that's the thing. I love the way he drives with the ball. He's somebody who you can give him the ball in any situation and he'll hold on to it. He'll beat men. He'll bring players out of position, which then allows more creative and other players to have more space. I think he's such a good player perfect for the championship i still think he's good enough for the premier league i don't know what's gone on and why it hasn't worked out in norwich but that straight straight away what a signing he will only add goals to this bournemouth side and a bournemouth side who goals wise they're they're not they're not at the top are they let's be honest they've got they've scored one goal less than blackburn but they're th over 30 sorry 30 goals off fulham and the only way they are going to catch fulham with goals is with this signing and another couple but we'll talk about another one now Dembele from Peterborough. Peterborough, obviously, he was linked with Fulham earlier on in the season. I thought he was going to go in the summer. What a player. We all know this guy. He's young talent. Very good. Both footed. Got an eye for goal. And I believe, yes, his goals and assists haven't been great this season for Peterborough. But I think when you put him around better players and when he's training with a better team and playing in a system where it's more attacking wise, he will really come into his element. A player who on his day could beat any man. And I know when I say on his day, I mean he will beat any man. He's so such a good, tricky player. I really like him. And again, it adds goals because Bournemouth have looked at this and gone, the only way we can get up to Fulham's level, we need goals. They're not scoring it. So what do they do? They go out into the market and get attacking, attractive players, players that are going to really light up the league and they're going to create a real buzz around the squad. And not only that, it's competition that this then creates in the squad, which then can allow them to get this promotion push. Because I honestly, I stand by it. I can't see how they can't get promoted. Now, with Scott Parker, a manager who's already done it, yes, he went through the playoffs, I think he'll go through the automatics. The squad they're building, these players they've got in, all could potentially walk into their starting eleven. That's how good they are. These aren't squad players. These are players who are going to really fight for positions. And this Dembele move, it's so cheap. And the thing is, it's a permanent. This guy is going to be class player for years to come. I really, really like him. Then the one, Nat Phillips on loan from Liverpool, a defender, somebody who can help assure the defence. So the, the thing is with Bournemouth, they've got really good defence. We know that they haven't conceded many goals. I was just looking now. Only 24 goals conceded this season, which... Is pretty good. It is one of the best in the league. I'm pretty sure it's joint best in the league. I'm just looking now. Yeah, joint best with West Brom in the league. So all they're doing is adding to it. That's how mental this is. They've gone, okay, we're good defensively, but how about we add to it? It's crazy. And Gary Cahill, what a brilliant player here, as we all know. It. And then they've got Lloyd Kelly. And now they're adding in Nat Phillips, the experience in that back line. Imagine Gary Cahill and Nat Phillips playing the in, in the championship. Really, really good. Again, great signing. Can only benefit. I know a lot of people are saying, do they need him? But 
it can only benefit a competition leads to better results. Really, really like that signing. And then Freddie Woodman in goal, really good signing. He was great at Swansea, a player who um, hasn't been struggling for form and for time at Newcastle. Um, Eddie Howe quite clearly said, you know what, you need to go out and get some game time. A young keeper that, again, is only going to add to this competition. The levels, the squad they are building, it's class. This guy will compete with Travis for in goal, to go in goal. Really good signing. And then I want to talk about Ethan Laird, a player who was earlier on in the season on loan at Swansea, a player I've seen play a few times. And I really like him going forward, that right back position. Again, adding to that squad, adding to goals. He's very good going forward and defensively. I just feel like I'm just saying the same things because they're signing such good players. The ambition, is, again, is there. And this one, again, is a loan. So the, the thing is with these signings, the fact that they're loan deals is what is the most amazing thing about it. The, the amount of loan deals they got through on the final day because they, they've gone, okay, it's a calculated risk. We'll get these players in on loan. So it's if we don't get promoted, we're not stuck with big contracts. We're not signing these players. But then if it does work out, they'll get us promoted and then we'll have a lot of money. We'll get that big package of money, which then we can buy more players to help them stay up in the league. And then the final one I want to talk about is Kiefer Moore. What a signing. We all know it. Everyone knows it. This guy's a serious player. He's a, he's a goal merchant at this level. He's always struggled. He's never really had a chance in the Premier League, but I think he will go up with Bournemouth and we'll, we'll wait and see. Is he the player that we all thought he could be? From Cardiff, I thought it was a really odd one that Cardiff accepted such a low offer, but when, when the bid went in, I thought absolutely no chance. And this deal moved extremely fast. And again, more goals. Him and Solanke, two players who can offer you both. I think it, it allows... Slanky a bit more competition because that is one thing I think Solanke has been quite comfortable as he knows he will always start. Whereas now with Dembele and Kiefer Moore, it's options. And not only that, Kiefer Moore offers something completely different, a powerhouse, somebody who's big in the air, somebody who can bring on five minutes who will cause defenders havoc. He's the player that no defender wants to play against. A really, really good signing. But those are the signings I want to discuss about, guys. What do you guys think? Do you think Bournemouth will get promoted? I think they will now after those signings. I can only see them going up now. Really, really good signings because the thing is, they've not had a bad season as it is. Yeah, they've dipped out of form, but the fact they're only five points, as I said, off the top and they're one point off um, automatics with a game in hand. I can't see how they can't get promotion. Really, it'll be really poor of Bournemouth if they don't, if they somehow mess up from this position that they're in. I was just looking at the next few games. They've got Birmingham City, they've got Blackpool, um, uh, Forest, Swansea, Stoke, Preston. So they've got some good games there. And then they've got Peterborough and Derby. It's not, they've not got any of the real big powerhouses there. They've got a chance to create a really good run, get some momentum going and get that Premier League football that I think most likely they will do. But guys, let me know what you guys think. I believe Bournemouth have been, have done across Europe, the best transfer business across Europe. Easily. They have won the transfer window. But let me know, guys, what you think. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button and subscribe. Who will get promoted? Let me know. But thanks for watching, guys. Book out, Sam. Over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.